welcome to the Emerging Industry Leaders Programme Information Session for Trimester 2 2023. I'm Deanne Campbell-John and I'm the HGR Career Development Consultant here at Griffith University. Um, I just want to welcome everybody today, uh, if you're joining me. Um, I just want to go through the programme very briefly with you. Well, first of all, I just want to give you an overview of where it all started. For those of you who aren't familiar with the programme, the programme was developed initially following the HDR Candidate Experience Survey results in 2021. And the survey results highlighted the need for greater support for HDRs transitioning from academia to industry positions. And what we do know is around 60% of HDR candidates will transition from academia into industry positions. Um, there's a high demand for the high level skills um, that are consistent with PhD graduates. Um, for example, in 2017, just over 62,000 jobs um, were sought with using the high level skills that PhDs have acquired along the way during their course, but also we're aware that PhD candidates have previous experience and qualifications to share as well. So that wonderful mix um, really helps to um, make sure that the PhD candidate is attractive to employers outside of academia when they complete their course. And so obviously what we also know is industry internships are a standard feature of um, PhD, PhD uh, programmes and organisations are starting to embrace the opportunity for research trained candidates from a range of industries. Um, also through our own service and the work that I do um, and my colleagues, we also have identified um, that there is a need for candidates, PhD candidates, and also Master of Research, so the HDR candidates broadly, um, a need for them to identify their transferable skills to be able to move into industry positions, and also a need to explore what those opportunities look like and how to build confidence in approaching industry represent representatives um, to be able to articulate their skills effectively. So, you know, within all of that that I was talking about, there's the context and there's also because of what we know, um, there's definitely a need to prepare. And hence, that's why this um, programme was, was created, was designed, and that's why it's running now. In terms of the programme, it's a two day uh, professional uh, development programme for HDR candidates who are currently enrolled at Griffith University and who are anticipating employment in industry positions. And we are aware that this can be one of many options. And so if you are considering, you know, industry positions um, as well as academia, that's perfect, you know, so you don't have to be just thinking about industry. So it's really the idea is that, you know, for many people, we know that the academic route is the preference, but it's really good now to have plan B, C and beyond. So this this is why we're offering this programme. Um, and the programme offers career management and leadership skill development, skill development. Um, and along with strategies and insight to prepare for transition into industry positions. And at the end of the two day programme, um, the candidates will have an opportunity to network with senior level industry representatives um, to meet the leaders in industry networking event um, and gain insights into these diverse range of job opportunities available. Um, so, from a, you know, we knew that candidates from across the university are going to be um, in the room. Um, but we also have organisations who know that they're going to be in the room and have people there uh, represented um, from the organisations who really value the, the high level skills that the HDR candidates have. And so are looking forward to those um, rich conversations. Um, HDR candidates at any stage of their programme at Griffith University uh, can apply. Um, we would love to have early stage candidates, and that's usually a surprise to many. Um, but because of the the um, the, the need for, some, if you're thinking about industry, some work related experience, this um, programme is perfect for that. So the conversations with industry are many types of opportunities. So potential internship opportunities that come up, but also opportunities alongside the study, but also opportunities when you finish. So it's really worth um, the earlier you can start to build those connections and really is about building connections because it might not just be for, for, be for that 
first moment when you meet them. You know, it's likely that this connection um, could be mutually beneficial and can be developed, you know, for a number of months uh, before um, collaboration may take place or opportunities to collaborate together. So that initial conversation, that initial meeting um, is really important. And so we try and support that um, opportunity to network through this programme. Um, what, what do the candidates get out of the programme? Oh, so many things. And I will show you a slide shortly just to give you an idea of what they're saying, what they like and what they get out of it. Um, but generally speaking, um, as a team, I think we can all agree that there's a greater sense of aspiration, a connection to the field of interest and potential future pathways, you know, because there's so many, so much experience that all the candidates are bringing. They're all highly talented and they've got different reasons to be doing this, to be doing their PhD um, or their research. Um, and so we embrace that. And we want them to feel connected to their field of study and get really excited by the opportunities that are available to them. And really understanding what employability looks like for them. You know, it's not the same um, for them in for in, in, if you're comparing to the undergraduate journey um, or even postgraduate taught courses. This is very different and we know that. And so we've actually designed a tailor-made course for that. And that clarity of purpose, really, and capability and opportunity to build connections in with the with your peers. I mean, for, for many um, candidates, they're working in isolation, you know, or they're doing a lot of work on their own. And so really to meet other people from across the university, um, that's one of the big things that they love. Um, and really to leverage and build on professional connections. That is, again, really important to them. So that's really what we've found as a team. But if we was to ask the candidates, I think this is what they put on their like board. So in terms of, you know, what they're liking, they're liking the guidance to help them identify the strengths and enhance them. Um, really those activities that we do, it's all in you know, a lot of pr practical activities because, you know, it's really a different way. It's human centred. It's a different way of learning about this. Uh, so it's quite new and it's quite innovative and they're all loving it. And really a chance to be in a safe space where you can actually ask questions, questions that you've always wanted to ask. Um, and also that interaction with others. Um, well, being just very well structured, we've been told, um, and very informative, but not information overload. Uh, we recognise that there's different ways of learning in the room. There's different there's different approaches. Um, you know, and lots of people are bringing so much um, with them life experience. And so we recognise that and we hopefully have pitched it just at the right level. Uh, the feedback is suggesting that. So we've got feedback by email as well afterwards. Um, and, you know, it's really, really wonderful to, to see the feedback, uh, people finding it so beneficial, not just at this point of the programme, but also beyond. You know, the idea is that these are strategies that you can take now, but obviously you can then use in your you know, future career, whichever direction you want to take. And in terms of what the, the candidates feel they've gained and what they want to move forward in their next steps, it really is about articulation. You know, the, the, the sometimes the skills from the academic research perspective is is not always easy to translate if you're going for industry um, interviews or you're speaking to people in industry at networking events. So we really try to help that process. Um, and we don't start there. We start earlier and we start looking at, you know, why the PhD, why the research? And we want to get back into that moment where we love it again, because it, there's a lot to do. You know, there's a lot of that time frame, that three years for full time or four years. And then for some people, it's gone on for eight years. You know, for the people who are towards the end, it's like, been doing this for a long time. So we want to re-energize ourselves and get right back into that space, in that headspace where we, we're back there, really uh, engaged in the process. And so we do start there and we move through a framework that you can take um, with you and use after well beyond this course and well beyond your study. So you can see that confidence, and that's a big thing, you know, we recognise um, it's not easy to do the things we're talking about. And so you're in a safe space to be able to to um, feel connected and feel confident and comfortable. 
as you're learning these strategies, but also practice, practice, practice. We we really do um, practice things like networking, which is quite scary for some people, but we practice that in so many different ways so that when you get to the point, you're meeting people um, in industry, you feel ready for that. You feel so excited and ready and confident about that. OK, so hopefully that's given you an idea of what everyone's thinking and how everyone's feeling about the programme. So let's talk about the programme. So the programme is over two days and day one can either be at Nathan or the Gold Coast campus. It's the same for both. So you'll choose one day, one of those days when you actually apply for the programme. Um, we go from strength based initially uh, exploration as you're on this adventure. OK, and then you're actually developing your leadership skills and what leadership looks like to you, but also how you're going to leverage those skills and take it forward um, when you're moving into research impact within industry. And after that, we start to look in at um, now we know that let's think about how we can stand out to recruiters, how we can stand out when we're applying for employment and we're preparing to network after that. And so we're consolidating everything we know about ourselves and we're starting to develop, to develop a pitch. Um, and then we go away and we come back for day two and we start to practice that pitch in different formats with different people. And so by the time you actually get to the stage of meeting people, you're raring to go. And we bring our colleagues from different areas of the university as pitch masters uh, to help us with that. And that's wonderful. Great experience. In between day one and day two, we also have an online session which you can join or you can watch the recording. Um, much better to join because there might be questions you want to ask, all focused on LinkedIn. And we have our LinkedIn expert that joins us for that. So that's really helpful. Great to update your LinkedIn, ready for the networking session. OK, and then. With the networking session, I'll move on to who's going to be joining us for that. But just as a bit of an overview of our ex external experts that come in to help us. And um, this is a, a real um, collaborative uh, approach. So we've got our experts externally, we've got our internal staff, we've got our industry, we've got our candidates. And as before, we actually present this session um, to you all every time we do this twice a year as always um, shared with the candidates that have, have actually experienced the session previously and we update and improve it before we present it again so who's joining us oh an array of organizations wonderful organizations that we are so pleased and delighted that they are supporting us um, and really want to be part of this journey with us and with you and so right from you know consultancies uh, right through to government, um, uh, industry, because government organisations, consultancies will work with industries. And so it's those sort of, um, I suppose, collaborative mixes as well when we say industry. So it's really good to start thinking, you know, where do I want to go, which is what we'll be doing in, in day one, or we'll be exploring that. But also, you know, who would want my skills? And and once you start opening the door to that and the the having an open mind to all of this, the opportunities are endless. And so these organisations look for a broad array of skills. And so, you know, if we're thinking about consultancies, it's not just finance and tax. They look at people from all different types of skill sets because you're talking to different industries, different organisations. So um, it's really good to come in. You'll walk away with uh, it's, feel like a whole new world of possibilities when you're finished. So how do you apply? OK, I'm sure you're all asking. Well, you go on to our Career Hub page and you'll notice the link there should take you straight through or you've got the QR code and the applications are now open. So they're open until the 20, the, sorry, they're open from the 24th. So that was two days ago. So we're midway through and they're open until the 4th of August. So um, we've got a week and a half to get the applications in and the form itself is very straightforward when you go onto the events page you'll link onto the form and the form is very like i say very straightforward um and the only thing i would say is there's um, a small selection of questions that ask you to provide 250 words and that's th that's really the bare minimum and so they're the points where we really want to know more about you and more about what you want to get out of this program and um, it does feed in before I start, I look at everything as well as making selections. I look at what everybody said and I, it informs the way that I deliver it, inform, informs it, what I'm doing because I know more about my audience. So it's really important. It helps to really make this um, a valuable, uh, worthwhile 
programme for everybody. Um, but also, like I say, it is a, a, a selection process. So uh, please do make the most of those sections. Um, and you will get a, a reply to that, to your application. You'll hear back by Wednesday, the 9th of August. One thing I should say, if I just go back a moment, is that once you come on the programme, you actually go into our talent pool and our talent pool is a web page and there's a link there to read to have a look. And what the uh, industries that are supporting us have, have requested is, is a way that they can see the candidates before they, they arrive for the networking event. So with that in mind, we've created a web, a web page where all of the profiles from every participant is on there for the organisations to view. It's also um, something that you can use to raise your profile uh, for positions in industry as well. So it works both ways there. Um, this is just a, a picture to show you um, really that everyone is really happy when they leave. It's a very upbeat, it's a very um, I say positive uh, experience. Um, everybody has come back, industry and candidates, to say that this has really helped them move forward. And that's what we want. We want everyone to feel uh, a greater sense of clarity moving forward uh, and having so many more options to consider because really they're, they are there. So we hope you've got everything you need to get started. Um, and we really hope that you're going to apply for this, pro this programme. Uh, please reach out if you need to find out more. There are my details, um, but we wish you all the best and we look forward to seeing your application. Thank you.